So what we're going to do now is we're going to talk a little bit about other ways that we can make use of the assets that we put under a maintenance contract outside of just scheduling jobs for those assets. And we may be able, uh, wanting to do a break fix type job on a piece of equipment that's unscheduled. So how do we go about that? So we bring up a job card and we say new to create a new job card. And we don't start filling in the customer or any of those details. We click the maintenance button down here and this will list all of the assets that we have in the system. We can go and type in maybe part of the serial number or whatever we have there. We can go and go through and find assets. So there's one there that looks interesting. We'll go and pick that one there. And what we'll do is we're going to select the item without a schedule. We could also select the site without a schedule, which will bring all equipment on the site that this equipment this but then you have to is at. The particular yeah, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to select the item without schedule. Oh, let me take the item. That would help. And so what it does is it creates a job for the customer and it automatically will then go in and link in that piece of equipment that I chose in against the job itself. And then I can go and handle this as a regular job as I did before. Um, what you'll notice though, that there's an additional tab here when it's linked in, which is contract details. And under this tab, I can then go and view the contract that that piece of equipment came from originally, which is this contract here. So it lets me jump straight in. And if I go and bring up my equipment under that contract, then there's that uh, piece of equipment there, my fan, PC, whatever it is. Uh, if I go and bring up that piece of equipment under the contract and look in my job history, you will now notice that job 81491 is now added in as uh, an entry in job history against this piece of equipment. So we can go and create ad hoc jobs against pieces of equipment um, as we go and service them. Now, what we might do is, as we go out and service this piece of equipment, we may find that the equipment is faulty and needs to be swapped out. So we have a very basic swap function built in. We can, through scripting, do a more complex swap function, but we have a very simple swap function whereby we want to swap things out. So if we hit the swap function, and what this does is it lets us select the pop swap out equipment. So this is going to now select a piece of equipment that we are going to swap with the one that we have. So imagine if we have a replacement stock store or some other set of uh, equipment that we swap when there's a, a broken hard drive, we might swap in another hard drive or something uh, like I mean, that. even though the equipment obviously is sitting somewhere in some warehouse. Well, it may not be in the warehouse. It may be in the guy's van. It may be okay. wherever. wherever yeah. So I can select that piece of equipment. Oops. I can select that piece of equipment there. Um, as being the swap out equipment. Uh, and then I can say, where is the faulty equipment going to go to here? And that's my equipment there. So I can go and search for maybe a dead stock location or something like that. So this is sites right. that I have set up and this isn't real data. So let's just say that was our dead stock location there. I could select that and I go and swap that. So what that's going to do now is that it's going to, that piece of equipment's gone, if you see on this job, and now it's replaced with the, the, the equipment that I chose. Mm -hmm. And if I go into the contract details and view the contract, you'll find that that piece of equipment, the old one is now gone off the contract and the new one is in there. And in my movements history, I can see that I swapped from, well, it's the same site, test to test. It just happened to be test, but I swapped it from the swap out stock location into my customer's stock location. And if I went by serial number and found the item that was on the job before, you will find that it swapped from the customer's location into the dead stock location. And then you have exactly. history as well. As the That's a history. That's exactly yeah. right. So this is swapping of equipment if we need to do swap outs. Now, I said it's simple, um, and it is simple. Uh, in seven, we'll be boosting that so that we will end up having transit stops, tramps, transit locations, and all sorts of stuff like that. So that it doesn't really go straight to dead stock. It actually goes from the site to the van, from the van to uh, transit, from transit to checking location, from checking to dead stock, or to repair back into stock, and so on. So there's a whole trail of movements that could actually go through with swapping. But this is so this is a very simple swapping function that we have here. Um, 
whilst I'm on the contract, I may want to manually move stock from one location to another, uh, equipment from one location to another. So I can actually also use the transfer button and the copy button to physically move equipment from one uh, site to another if I wanted to. So I've just repaired it, it's finished. I want to move it from repair stock to livestock or something like that so I can move things around. So even you do the transfer of equipment from one to another, right? The contract will also alter based on that. that change, depends. Right? Depends how I'm moving it. You know, I could move it right, right off the contract if I wanted to. Okay. Just there is the physical ability to move equipment from one location to another, mm -hmm. so I need the physical ability to move it in here from one location mm -hmm. to another. Okay. That was just an aside on what we were talking about there. So by using the maintenance button down the bottom here, we can very easily bring in equipment into jobs, link the jobs to contracts under contract history. So we're starting to build up a history of you know um, all the work done under particular pieces of equipment, so we can work out whether it's time to replace it or if it's cost effective or we need to charge more for our contract or whatever it happens to be.